Welcome back to Blood and Wine. As I said in the last episode, we are going to do the Gwent tournament in this episode. Uh, but we need to waste some time. And the quickest way to do that is just simply to uh, meditate. So we're going to meditate for two hours, or two days. And um, then we will uh, talk to Count Monnier and get this uh, Gwent business started. And just uh, get the Gwent over with and out of the way before we get back into the main quest. And then we'll meditate till high noon, and that should be two days. Pure gold. Pure gold? What? Okay. That was weird that he just says that. Okay. Well, here we are, and um, we're supposed to talk to this guy. It looks like the game is telling me to go downstairs, according to the dotted line. So let's go ahead and find this guy so we could join the tournament. Alright, where are you telling me to go, game? Why are you telling me to run over here? Look at this. Look at, look at where the dotted line's telling me to go. I'm just following the dotted line. Alright. Go here. And then... Grom? Who's this guy? What the hell? <laughs> Just you wait. A year on it's on toss it all invented that white. What's going on here? Wait, Denny need change it. Leave it a fuck alone. What? Tagnar, Grom. Get your megan mates off a fucking quit. Greetings, Grebo. What are these guys upset about? Wonder what brings him here. Um, is this the guy I'm supposed to talk to? I can't quite get to him with these dudes in the way. Yes, yeah, oh, there's another guard. Yes, fellow knight and friend. Okay, all I've done is run around and come right back. Oh, actually, I'm in a different place, aren't I? Where the heck is this guy? Witcher. Oh, I think that those uh, dwarves are angry that uh, Monier has uh, um, messed with their favorite game. I think that's what's going on. Here he is. You're a hard man to find. There you are. A pleasure to see you again. The Skellige faction. How do you find it? Um, it's not my favorite. Honestly, not one of my favorites. Hmm. Yet I believe you will easily win the tournament wielding it. Any specific tournament rules? Mind giving me an overview? Firstly, might I introduce the contestants? Superb Gwent players all, hailing from the world's farthest corners. Hamal Ochen Dankbali, an Ophieri merchant. Eric van Frog, a patrician from Novigrad. And lastly, we are proud to welcome a Skelliger. Ye blind? Not Skelliger, Skelligirl, damn it! Naturally, no offense meant. Agnetha Scott, her effort charming isle temperament in evidence, along with assorted beats, baubles, ropes. As to the rules, they're simple. Each player adopts a faction they cannot change for the tourney's duration. Lose a match, and you're eliminated. The winner from among you shall advance to the semi-final to face the winner of the Tournay's previous edition, His Excellency the Ambassador of the Empire of Nilfgaard, Master von Hid. The winner of that match shall in turn face none other than me, your humble servant. Hands off our Gwent! No new fucking factions! Hmm. Uh, what do these guys want? Protesters have gathered outside. Quite a few, it seems. Hands off our bloody game! We didn't want any new factions! Money, you dozy cunt! Stop doubling with dwarven tradition! Change cannot always please everyone. Gwent traditionalists resent my efforts to expand the canon to include Skellige, but we shall pay them no mind. Yeah. Uh, hey, what other factions are these guys gonna play? Mind telling me what factions the others will be playing? It is no secret. Eric van Frog will play the Northern Realms. His Excellency, in a flush of patriotism, chose Nilfgaard. Hamal Ochendankbali will play the Monster's deck. 
and Agnetha Skold has chosen Skoyatel. Yours truly, of course, shall await the winner with a Skellige deck. I'm determined to prove its value. All right. Uh, I guess I really have no other choice than to begin. <laughs> so I guess I'll choose Let's Begin. Ready to start if everybody else is. I invite you to join me on the terrace. The Herald shall soon announce the tourney start. Sounds like we have a lot of Gwent to play. Let we have like five people begin. to play. In Yeesh. round one, Agnetha Skult faces Eric von Vrog. And Geralt of Rivia plays Hamal on Gangbali. Let's okay. grab a table. We don't have to play everybody. A wager, would you wish to make? A wager, huh? What do you have in mind? Weapons do I collect and your sword of no. silver, my eyes. No. Should I win? No. Should take it. Should I lose to you another equally precious shall I give? Uh, agreed, no let's play for the normal stakes. I kinda like my sword, dude. Screw you. Sword's how I earn my keep. Can't risk it, won't. I say we play for the normal stakes. Well, I hope I didn't cheat myself out of something quest worthy there, but I kinda like the sword I've got. Uh, okay, well, here's the Skellige deck. Um, can't choose another deck. Gots to play Skellige. Uh, so I guess I'm gonna stick with how I have it currently configured. Um, I don't, uh, don't feel real comfortable with this deck, I, I gotta tell ya, I, I just don't. But this is what we're going with. He's playing monsters. Okay, we got Scorch, we got Commander's Horn, we got this guy that I think I'm going to get rid of because he only doubles uh, this row, and we probably don't really have... Well, okay, we have this guy that goes in that row, but not much else. God, this this uh, this deck is weak. I hate this deck. Not a fan. Uh, so we're going to get rid of this. Okay, we got him, and we have a Berserker. Finally, we have a Mardrome and a Berserker together. Together at last. Uh, this Shield Maiden is not worth a whole lot without anybody else to tightly bond with. So, um, I'm going to get rid of the Shield Maiden card. And, uh, we got the Dummel Marjoram card in this place. Good grief. That's no good with... I've already got this. <laughs> I finally thought the game was being nice to me, but no. It's not. This is a terrible, terrible hand. It's horrible. I hate it. Monsters, his special ability, restore a card from your discard by pile to your hand. From your discard pile. Um, is that, that's not your graveyard, right? I don't know. You only got ten cards, so it beats me, man. Um, uh, I mean, he's got nobody to tightly bond with. He's got nobody to tightly bond with. This is a Scorch. I should have gotten rid of the Scorch, but I already got rid of two cards. I don't need two Scorches. Ugh. Um, I don't know. I'm going to lose the very first hand, man. Very, very first hand. First round, I should say. Okay, so there's a monster card. That's going to add plus one to whoever else he places there. Nothing I could do about that card, so we'll just leave it be. Throw this card back here. This is this is not a good hand. Okay, so he's gonna throw the Skellige Storm card out. So apparently that's not a Skellige specific card. So these two rows are in peril now. That's just freaking great. That is just great. Yeah, I'm already screwed, man. I mean, this is uh you know, middle row, this is middle row, this is middle row. This is front row, but there's no sense in playing it now because I have nobody to take out of here. I guess I'll throw this out. This is, this is bad. This is real bad. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lose, not because I'm doing anything wrong, but because this stupid, <laughs> this stupid hand or deck sucks. I hate this deck. Uh, Scorch, I can throw this out and get rid of all those cards, so I'm gonna do that. Screw your cards. See you later, bye. I hope that hurts. And he passes. Sword Loser passes. 
Okay. Um, obviously no sense in playing any other cards. So... We will go ahead and pass ourselves and win the first hand. Much to my surprise. Boy, I did not like that Skellige Storm card one bit. A stupid extra Mardrum card, I tell you, man. Um, well, might as well throw this out. Oh, okay, so he's going to restore a card from his discard pile. So he already had quite a card advantage. So that sucks. Turn him into a beast. Pretty good. Eight to four. I don't have a chance. Ouchie. Holy cow. Ah, this stupid fiver here. Hmm. Hmm. I wish I would have thrown this card in the previous. I guess it doesn't matter. Uh, I don't want to throw this out because I'm just going to get rid of that. That's why I was kind of upset that this card exists. If it didn't, I could throw this Scorch out and just see you later, goodbye, all of these cards. But there's no sense in it now. Um, this is an absolutely useless card. So I'm going to throw it out here just to... Um, just to waste time. Okay, then. Three cards to three. I have zero chance of catching up with him. So, now I wish I hadn't thrown this card. <laughs> you know why? Uh, because this card's going to go into my graveyard, and then I could have used this to pull this card. Oh, no, this card stays this way. That's right. He's a bear forever now. I'm going to go ahead and pass and hope that I can beat him in the next hand. Because I can't beat him this hand. There's no way. Alright. I'm going to get two cards pulled out. Whoa. What the... Oh, we're not in the third turn. Oh, there it is. Okay. I was going to say, where's my two cards? Okay, those are two good cards that I got pulled out here. Gosh, he still has more muster. Holy crap. But he had nobody to muster with. Alright. Okay, how am I going to do this. He's got two cards left. If I throw this out, it's gonna I'm gonna hurt myself, so I can't Yeah, I can't use this. Hmm. Throw this out, and what do I want to pull out of here? What would give me the best Well, this is really the only card I could pull out. So let's go ahead and throw this out here. Yep, that's the only card. Pull him out. Alright, what do you got? Okay, nothing I could do with that. He's got one card left. It sucks I can't play this card because I'll only hurt myself. So, in that case... Wow. Basically, I, I have one move remaining and that's it. And it's this. Um, I don't know if it matters whether I play it here or here, because the effect will be the same. Um, yeah. Okay, he's got one card left. What's he going to do? I'll be damned. It was just enough for him to beat me. And now I can't win. I can't win. Because this is going to scorch this. And I'll basically be trading 16 points for 12 points. I'll be damned. I lose the very first stinking hand. There's no sense in playing this. Shuffles all cards from each player's graveyard back into their decks. That doesn't do me any good. If this was a muster card, it would do me some good. But it's not. Doggone it. I lose the very first chance. <laughs> Damn it. So just to prove it, I throw this out. It's going to scorch this card. 
turns so I lose even more points. I could throw I could play this just for fun and giggles. And he wins. So I lose the very, very first hand. Good grief. I do not like this deck, man. Congratulations. Lucky I didn't bet my sword. A good match. Thank I you. I'd never have lost if you hadn't cheated. And my land folk who slander like that don't live long. Because we don't let them. She cheated, huh? Excuse me of cheating again. And I'll cut your tongue out. Enough. Hands to yourselves. As Gwent is a gentleman's sport, we expect all its players to demonstrate impeccable manners. And we cannot tolerate any disturbances. Thus, by decision of Count Monier, Whoa. contestants from Novikrat and Skelliga are hereby disqualified. Oh, goodness. Gentlemen's sport. Well, I'm a lady. And we ladies don't give a flying fart about a tourney where any measly prick can accuse us of cheating. With round one completed, the standings are as follows. Get out of Rivia, eliminated. <sighs> Agnetha Skold and Eric von Vrog both disqualified. Consequently, His Excellency, the Ambassador of Nilfgaard, shall now face Hamal Ongdangbali. All right. Well, lost the very first hand. Congratulations. Good win. Thank you. An exciting match, to say the least. Mm -hmm. In the grand finale, Ambassador Von Hin shall face Count Monier. Stop desecrating Gwent! Uh-oh. Get in it all, new factions! Here we go. Seems there's some trouble brewing. Scoot, Olius, off your asses and hide to Skellige. Yeah, I love it, seal slappers. <laughs> Please remain calm and stop the verbal attacks. Stop your mum from fucking ferrets, Whoa. Monier, and hands off our Gwent. Uh, get out, or what exactly? What's your problem? Maybe instead of hollering threats, you ought to just explain what it is you want. We've said it plenty of times, yet no one ever listens. Got me listening. Gwent's an ancient pastime. Its rules were set ages ago. Exactly. Determined in keeping with the laws of nature. There should be four factions. That is the optimal number. We'll not tolerate the introduction of any others. It would disgrace the tradition. Aye, leave our Gwent the fuckily. <laughs> Enough of this. Then come here to Java, but to bring fucking heads in the bunch of tradition. Oh, great. Come on, lad. Ow. Oh. i fight these jerks. Hey, jerks. All right, here we go. Oh, are we using swords? Oh, I thought I heard somebody draw a sword. Ow, oh, jeez. Um, I mean, he's got some kind of weapon. Am I not allowed to use my weapon? No, no weapons. Okay. All right, here we go. Oh, jeez. Oh, uh, man. This sucks. Okay, one down. Watch out. Man, I'm just clicking buttons. There we go. Screw you guys. Cool you off a bit. Oh man, Geralt's Arc. toxic. Seeing triple. Quadruple even. Enough! I shall summon the guard. I got this count. <laughs> sure, you can shut this tournament down, but there'll be another. With who knows what new rules. If you don't like them, don't enter. Play somewhere else, however you want. But you'll never stop other folk from playing however they like. Bollocks! Like my good friend Zoltan Chive says, if one says you're talking bollocks, they could be right. They could be wrong. But if multiple say you're talking bollocks, well, you probably are. So let's take a vote. Who else here thinks I'm full of it? Zoltan Chive? Haven't seen that rascal in ages. How's he doing? How's he doing? Uh, be glad to tell you over a bottle or Zoltan's doing fine. <sighs> um, let's see if we could make friends with him. I was in Novigrad last I saw him. Be glad to tell you more over a flask of something strong. Attention everyone! Our outing's taken a new turn. 
We're to sit and drink vodka with Zoltan's pal. Gentlemen, wait. We've still the final round of the tourney to play. Doesn't matter. Geralt's already I out of it. Fuck that! I, Yaki Raffiberg, to hereby declare my participation in this tournament. And I demand to play the victim. We'll settle whether this Skellige faction's worth a flaming bag of shit once and for all. <laughs> Agreed, but please show some patience. We must first play a pre-final. A pre-final. In the uh, pre-final, Count Monier, representing the Skellige faction, shall face Ambassador von Hin playing Nilfgaard. All right, here we go. And and oh my gosh, who's gonna win? Oh, Skellige wins! Skellige won! What a bundle of pish! There's no way that deck done. wins. That deck sucks. No, that's my turn. It that sucks, I tell you. We agree. Let us resolve our differences here and now. The grand finale! Witness it now! Count Monier playing the Skellige faction against Yaki Rappiberg playing... Skyatel! Let the better man or dwarf win. Who do you think's gonna win? Probably Skellige. Thank you for a scintillating game. I trust my victory has convinced all doubters of the value of the new faction. You won because you played better. Even if you hadn't played as blowing Skellige, you would have won anyhow. Oh wow, nice. Uh, congrats all the same. Yaki Raffibags, no score loser. Come on, lads! Let's get soused! No, you must stay, for I wish to treat you all to a tickle. We must toast the premier of the new faction. And if anyone wishes to play a friendly match of Gwent, I see no reason why not. Yay! Gwent and drinks for everyone. Thank you for everything, Witcher. Uh, you know, it didn't really go as planned. <laughs> I don't think that went exactly as you planned. What matters is we played Gwent, and I presented the Skellige faction. I'm sorry you did not manage to qualify for the finals. I'd hoped to face you, but participation alone counds for something. Yeah, Ooh, two experience points, lives. thanks. Thanks. And we got a hundred crowns. once more for deigning to take part in my little tournament. I hope we shall meet again. Who knows? Farewell. Quest completed. Gwent, Gwent, Gwent. I, man, I just don't know if I could, I could win the tournament with that that faction. I, I, I don't feel comfortable with it. I don't think it's a very good faction at all. Uh, I don't even know what its strengths are. Um, you know, monsters has you know a lot of muster cards. Um, I can't remember which one it is. One of them. Has a lot of spy cards. Is it? Uh, is that Nilf Guardian Empire that has a bunch of spy cards? I can't remember which. Uh, yeah, they're the ones with a bunch of spy cards. So they've got that. Um, let's see, Scoyatel. What do they have? Um, they have. Well, they're kind of. They could move to different rows, but I don't know. What good that does? They have a bunch of healing. Northern Realms is just a pretty basic deck with a bunch of, I feel like, good high-value cards. With maybe a good mixture. Um, but Skellige, I just, I just don't like it, man. I, I don't, I don't really know how to use it to any advantage. Maybe I have my deck set up wrong. You know, it's a good possibility. Primal participation is, whereas vindicating victory would be. Uh, hey. hey, well, let's see if there's any final text for that quest, as I am wont to do. Let's see, we'll find it in here. Right here. Despite Geralt's best efforts, he failed to emerge victorious at the tournament. Playing his cards well did not, however, turn out to be his only worry during the tournament. While they played, outside the building where the tournament was held, a group of tradition-minded lovers of the old rules of Gwent gathered to protest the addition of a new faction. 
After a short fight, the situation was brought under control, and the two sides sat down for talks. I am happy with the way that that resolved itself. But here's a big red thing that says uh, win the tournament, so it's interesting to me that this shows up in uh, the uh, completed rather than the failed. <laughs> um, so, I don't know, man. I, I, I feel like, like I said, I just, I don't know if there's any way that I could beat, would I have to win like three or four games in a row? I, just, I don't know. I don't know if there's a way to do it, but I want to try it because I want to see what happens if you win the tournament. So we're going to do a little bit of uh, alternate reality Witcher now. Um, this is my main story right here, uh, and we're going to save it. But uh, I'm going to go back and do a load from here, I guess. Actually, how far back do I have to go? This was at the starting of this episode. This... I'm not sure which one of these would be like um, the starting of the Gwent tournament. Um, yeah, I don't know. This is when we started. Let's see. Let's see where this one takes us. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to go back to the starting of the Gwent tournament and not have to go all the way back to the starting of this episode and go through all that business of trying to find this guy and everything. Um... Let's see. This, uh... So this... Okay. Let the tourney begin! Okay, cool. In round one, Agneta Skult faces Eric von Vrog, and Geralt of Rivia plays Hamel on Gangbali. Let's grab a table. Okay, so we have a nice Wait, you, you convenient save point right what here mind? Weapons at the starting of this tournament. Should I win? I should yeah, yeah. I, I still refuse to uh, give up my sword. Oh, actually, you know what? I'm a big dumb dingbat. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. For some reason, I was thinking, um... Ah, crap. Yeah, yeah, forfeit. Congratulations. For some reason, I was thinking, um... All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right, all right. Okay, oh, I've gotten myself into trouble here. Um... Ah, okay. All right. Okay. All right. Okay, let me get back to where I could you know, get out. Get out of here. All right. Um, I, I was thinking wrong. I was thinking that uh, even if I won, um, even if I won, I would lose my good sword. But if I win, I don't lose my good sword. Yeah, I was... So let's go ahead and uh, play for the sword, because we'll get an additional sword. Yeah, that was... I was being a dummy. I wasn't thinking right. So, yeah, look how much trouble you have to go through if you lose. It's a pain in the butt to try to have to uh, reload. But I'm going to give it a shot because I want to see in this alternate reality. Get up. Let's go. Hey, wait, you. What okay. do you have in mind? All right. Weapon. Uh huh. Uh, agreed. All right. So be it. There. Okay. Um, I guess I don't really need three of these in my hand. Uh, I mean, are, are two enough? I don't know. Scorch. Do I need a plain old Scorch card? <sighs> I mean, I'm just trying to make this a better deck. Because I it just feels really crippled right now. Um, I mean... I could, um, hmm, I guess this is, these are my only choices, huh, of the cards that I could put in there. I can't put any other spy cards in here. I wish I could, because I'd like to be able to get more spy cards. I still don't see any sense in putting those cards in my hand at all. I just really don't. Find any cards with the same name in your deck and play them in in instantly. <laughs> yeah, there's only one other one of those. See no sense in playing these wussy cards here, these four point sword cards. Um I mean it might be interesting to get rid of any card that doesn't go in the front row. Have only front row cards and then uh you know, rely on Skellige Storm to weaken the other players. 
deck or hand, you know what I mean? But that even that seems risky. Um, and plus I'd, loot, I'd miss out on some really cool cards, you know? I don't think this card's worth having in my in my hand because there really aren't many siege cards in this this deck, period, you know? Here's one um, that would bond with itself. But yeah, there's really not a whole lot going on in the back row of this deck at all. So I I, I don't know. This card's only useful if I also have these in my hand, you know? Um, and then I've got these cards here. There's six points, but there's nothing special about them, you know? So... Do I have Dandelion in here? Dandelion might be worth something, because there's so many front row cards. I'm gonna try some. Let's get rid of him. And I'm even going to get rid of these. You might think this is crazy. I'm going to get rid of this card. And... Man, I kind of hate to get rid of these Berserker cards. I was thinking of just having frontline cards and that's it. You know? And trying this weird strategy of uh, Skellige Storm plus uh, frontline cards. <laughs> I don't know, man. Let's try this. Let's just try something crazy since I'm having so much trouble with this deck. We'll just stick in the front row. Yeah, he can go in the front row too. Um, and I guess I'll keep these. Because I'm not always going to be playing. I don't know, man. I don't know. Let's see what happens. This might be a huge mistake. Uh, man, I'm always getting scorched. Here's my Skellige Storm. Here's a Mardrum that I don't think I'm going to want to keep, but we'll see. Here's a front row card. Here's a front row card. <sighs> okay, there's no... S oh, for crying out loud. Look at this. There's absolutely zero sense in having these cards, all three of these cards in your hand, because the power of these is that you play one and all three of them get played. Ah, good grief. Not a good hand, if you ask me. Especially since my strategy was to go all front row with the Skellige Storm card. And what does the game do? It gives me three freaking middle row cards. Gosh. I tell you, man. I think it's this, uh, and this card is useless. It's absolutely useless. So first thing we're going to do is trade in one of these. And I'll be damned if it doesn't give me a center row card. But this one won't be affected anyway by the storm. <sighs> um, okay, no sense in having a Mardrome card, so we're going to get rid of it. <sighs> I don't like this. Alright, let's see what happens. <laughs> I, can't, I can't even believe this. Alright, well, so this... Um, this won't be the hand that I play in my Skellige Storm. There go those cards. Oh, wow, it even draws it out of my hand. Yeah. There he goes, throwing that out there. He's already ahead of me. Throw this out so that I get some points for the next hand. Oh, he throws the Skellige Storm. And why wouldn't he? Good grief. I tell you, man. Using my own strategy against me. Um, mm. I'm thinking of just passing and just letting him have this hand. That's what I'm thinking of doing. Um, yeah, screw it. Oh, oh, okay, great. He plays a spy card and he gets even more cards. Wonderful. Wonderful. Okay, so I got that card out there. His turn. What's he going to do? He's going to... Doggone it, he's going front row. Oh my gosh. I can't beat him. Uh, 
Ugh. So this is going to pull out my handmaidens out of my out of my uh, deck. So throw all those out there. And that is a lot of points. A lot of points. He's going to throw more in the front row. Doggone it, man. Um, we have even number of cards now. What do we have in here? Got this. And then these. Um, two of these. Let's throw this out. We'll play this for the next hand. Okay, let's see what happens. Okay, he's going for it. Okay, we're still ahead. Five cards to five. What do I want to do? Um... Hmm, I'm already ahead. No sense in playing this. I definitely don't want to play this because I'll just hurt myself. I could play this, but I'm already ahead of him. Though I don't know if there's any reason to save it. Hmm. I mean, I could... I don't know, man. I really don't know what to do. Um... Eh, let's just definitely win this hand. There's no way he's going to be able to catch up with us. Maybe we'll even scare him away. Nope. Oh, okay, okay. He's going to decoy. He took a card back. So he is going to... He's going to pass. I'm going to pass. There's no way he's going to be able to catch us. Okay, so we won that round. Alright. He gets to leave a card out on the floor. Oh. What? Um. Boy, I wish I knew what happened there. So, I guess, so the, the Skellica ability triggered and it pulled a card out of, out of here. Two cards out of here. One of them must have been one of those healer cards or whatever they're called. Re revive. It lets me pull somebody out of my, um, out of my, uh, graveyard. There's no sense in throwing these out because it's not going to pull these out of the graveyard. That, that ruins my strategy because I was going to use him to uh, shuffle the cards back into my deck. Then I was going to revive one of these and have it pull these out of my deck. But uh, he's ruined that now. There's no sense in throwing this out um, because this is the final hand and I have no way of removing this card myself. Um, if I had a decoy card, I could, but I don't. So, I'm going to throw one of these. Okay. Alright, that was unexpected. Alright, cool. Okay, five cards to four. Now, what I'm going to do is... Oh, crap, I can't, uh, I can't do it, can I? My strategy isn't going to work. Okay, so what I was going to do is I'm gonna, I was going to throw this card, which will let me take a card out of here, right? And the card I was going to take was one of these, right? But it'll only muster if these cards are in my deck. So I was thinking I could throw this out and then this, but I can't. I hope, you, I hope you're following what I'm saying. If I throw this out now, it'll take all of these cards and put them back in my deck and that will make this card worthless. Because I won't have anybody to pull out of here. So we're going to go ahead and throw this card now. And we'll get that other handmaiden out of there. Which is pretty cool. Because that's going to be a lot of points. It's a lot of points. Hopefully they don't have a Scorch. If they do, ouchie. Okay, he's going to muster again. And then, um... We'll throw this out. It's a lot of points in one row. A lot of points. Okay. Well. 
We're gonna go ahead and throw this out just to, you know, in case he throws something in these rows. Three cards left. Okay, he's gonna double. Not enough to catch up with the still. I sure as heck don't wanna play Scorch. But we'll see what happens. Um, so I don't wanna pass, so instead I'm gonna throw this card just to buy some time. No idea if this will help him or not. Yeah, play it already. Okay, okay, here we go. Oh no, you can't double those. I thought that was going to turn into a 24, but it can't. Okay, well I have to pass. And... Okay. Wow, he had two Skellige Storm cards in his deck. Or his hand, I should say. And we win. Whew, that was not easy. Good match. Thanks. And upon your victory, congratulate I you. What drove me to wager a sword against you, why not? Clearly to guide me, the universe ceased. Here, you may it serve well. I'd never have lost if you hadn't cheated. Okay, so we got this again. And my land folk who slander like that don't live long, because we don't let them. Accuse me of cheating again, and I'll cut your tongue out. Enough. Hands to yourselves. As Gwent is a gentleman's sport, we expect all its players to demonstrate impeccable manners, and we cannot tolerate any disturbances. Thus, by decision of Count Monier, the contestants from Novikrat and Skellige are hereby disqualified. Gentleman's sport. Well, I'm a lady. And we the ladies don't give a flying fart about a tourney where any measly prick can accuse us of cheating. With Route 1 completed, the standings are as follows. Agnetha Skolt and Eric Van Vrog both disqualified. Geralt of Rivia has defeated Hamel Ongenvali of Ophir. In the semi-final, Geralt shall face the defending champion, Ambassador Von Heen. I am honored. Oh wow, oh we gotta play him right now. Oh crap. I was hoping that that um, dwarf kerfluffle would have happened by now, and or right now, and that maybe I could uh, save the game, but pfft, this, is, this is it man, I'm in it to win it. So let's try this again. He's gonna play the Nilfgaardian Empire deck. I got a decoy, a scorch, there's a Skellige Storm. We got this guy. Look at this, man. It's giving me mid-range cards, even though I hardly have any in my deck. This is useless without anybody for... Oh, no, I'm, I take that back. This is a monster card. Uh, I've got these shield maidens here. Oh, this is horrible hand. So, lo so many low point cards. So, Skellige Storm is not a strategy that I'm going to use in this hand because I have this mid-range card. I have this mid-range card, which is going to muster with a bunch of other mid-range cards. And then I have, uh, yeah, these aren't going to be affected. I mean, we have a few front row cards, but I don't feel like it's enough to make Skellige Storm worth it. I don't know, it depends on what he does. I've got a decoy. I'm not really sure what card I would want to pull back with decoy. Um... I mean, Berserker's good because I have um, this card, so those will go well together. Um, Scorch hasn't been terribly useful. Well, sometimes it is. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to do my Skellige Storm. Or am I? Maybe I could start off... Hmm... Kind of depends on what he does. So do I want Scorch and Decoy? I feel like I need more points. I really can't think of why I would want a Decoy, so I'm going to swap out my Decoy? Although, let's see, Decoy, I could maybe use a... Sp no, I can't use a Spy card more than once because it'll go on the other side. Uh, I don't have any cards that'll let me pull anything. Oh no, I take that back, I have this card here. Um, screw it. 
Okay, swapped that out for this. And Scorch, I'm going to get rid of it too, because sometimes I just end up hurting myself. Uh, and I got him, he's useless. He's just a measly six point card. Okay, so he starts off in the front row. Um, so that means I'll pro I mean, even though it's only a three point card, that means I probably won't be doing the uh, Skellige Storm strategy in this hand. So let's go ahead and uh, go to the middle. Oh, okay, dude. All right. Why waste any time? We'll go ahead and throw him out here, turn him into a Berserker. Okay, all right, whatever, dude. And we'll throw this out here and do a bit of mustering. Okay. Okay, so he's all over the freaking place. But still, I'm definitely not going to throw this card out because I have a lot of points sitting here. 28 to 26. Now I don't really know what to do. I obviously don't want to throw this card out. Um... Hmm. Boy. I don't know, man. This one could go in either row. So, I guess we'll go in the front. Oh, that was dumb. I forgot that he had that ability. Doggone it. Okay, so we're gonna double that also. Oh well. He'll at least add one point to this card. Or oh, we went through a lot of cards in this first hand. Hey boy, he is all over the place. I'm not liking this. Oh, he's gonna decoy, which to me tells me that he's done. He's gonna, he's gonna pass. Pass. Oh crap, he didn't pass. <laughs> Freaking lose, man. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> Damn it. I really needed to win that hand, but we are, we do have a four to two car advantage, so maybe we'll be all right. Oh what? Oh okay. Oh man, okay, he gets to draw a card out of his deck. And that was a pretty good one to draw it. He's already up 20 to nothing. I could throw this out, and that would re reduce that one to one point. Right? Okay. Try that. He's only got one card left. Oh, and he's going to use his ability, which allowed him to draw a card from his discard pile. That bought him some time. Gotta remember, I got to save a card for next time, you know? If I throw these two out, they'll tightly bond with each other. That'll be 16 points. Will that be enough to beat him? Because if it's not, well, then I'm, I'm, I'm screwed. Or I could throw this card out and pull something out of here. That'll give me seven plus. There's no sense in pulling these out because they won't muster with each other. There's no sense in pulling him out because of this. So, all I could do is pull one of these out, which will give me 13 points. So I could either do, you know, um, these will double, right? Place next to the card with the same name to double the strength of both cards. Yeah, so that'll be 16 points. Whereas this will give me 13 points. He's only got two cards left. Oh, but remember I have that cool uh, faction ability. In my third round, it'll draw two cards out, so I can go ahead and safely play these. Because if he runs out of cards, he's not going to be able to play anything. And he passes. Okay. So we're good. I do believe we beat him unless he has some trick up his... Well, he still has two cards left. So those two will tightly bond. We will win this hand. Two cards to one. I get uh, two cards coming out of my deck, or my graveyard. I have ten points. 
Uh, I could play this. And I wish I wasn't going first. And then, um, I guess really, this is really the only card. Oh no, I could take this card out. It's at least worth eight points. So we're gonna throw this out. And, and we'll throw him out. All right, can he beat 25 points with two cards? Oh, he might be able to. 17. My turn. Is there really any sense in doing this? You know, if I do this, and he has another one of these, um, uh, medic cards, uh, he won't be able to pull anything out of his graveyard, right? Let's see what that does. And... And... No! Come on! You gotta be kidding me. That's what he had left? Holy crap. <sighs> it seems you had a stroke of your life. Yeah, it does seem that way, doesn't it? Play better, that's all. Stop desecrating wait! And now we're back to this. Seems there's some trouble brewing. Alright. Well, we've already seen this, um, so uh, there's no sense in uh, watching it again. I'm going to go ahead and end this episode now. Uh, and I am going to attempt to uh, win the uh, Gwent round. And the next episode, spoiler alert, will be me um, winning the Gwent tournament. Because <laughs> that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to do that off camera. Uh, and um, the next, like I said, the next episode will be me winning the Gwent tournament because I want to see what happens. Uh, boy, is it going to be tough, though, but um, I'm going to give it a shot. So like I said, this is where this episode is going to end. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope that you are enjoying these Gwent-heavy episodes. I know a lot of you do enjoy watching me play Gwent, but I suspect that there may be some of you who don't. So to those, uh, I uh, ask for your patience as we get this Gwent stuff out of the way, and then we get back into the main quest in a couple episodes in the future. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I uh, hope you enjoyed this episode. <laughs> if you did, even though I failed the Gwent tournament, let me know by uh, leaving me a like or a comment. Thanks for watching. Hope you join me next time.